So I bought this bath sponge the other day and I had it laying on the counter and I kind of had a creative moment with it. And I didn't see a bath sponge. I saw a Christmas angel to hang on your Christmas tree. And so there it went. I, I, I made one. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is how the first one turned out. Today's, I'm gonna make another one right now. It'll be slightly a different color. Um, you can make them any color you want to, obviously, but I'll show you how you put them together. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your loofah or your bath sponge and you wanna kinda of pinch it around to get most of it down on the bottom, but you wanna have a little bit of body to it to hold the wings and head. You want to keep your ribbon in the back because that's going to actually hold it to the Christmas tree when you're done. So you want to keep that out of the way really. So you just take some ponytail holders I got at the dollar store and you put those around that middle, not really the middle, but about the first top third of the sponge. You want to wrap those around to create the body. I did one and then I did another one. Just wrap them around there a couple times. And then pull out your, your ruffle a little bit because your arms are going to go in there and you want them to look like little sleeves on your arms. So you want a little bit of ruffle there. So that's how it kind of looks. This is all going to be covered up with paint when you're done anyway. I'm leaving that out to hang on the tree. So the next thing I did was I found the middle section of the top of it and I took a Christmas tree bulb a little plastic Christmas tree ball, and I put some glue on it. And find my middle section there again, and I put it right in the middle there. I put the seam to the outside, have a little seam on it. I put that to the outside because I want the face to be nice and smooth. And you just hold it for a minute. Let that glue set up. And uh, the next thing I did when I made the first one is I took this two inch wired ribbon and uh, it's just Christmas bow ribbon. I tried to do everything I could right out of the Christmas decorating basket so you wouldn't have to go to the store and buy too many things. And uh, you just take it like that. And I kind of pre-measured this. I didn't use a ro rolling stick or anything. I just kind of eyeballed it. And what you want to do is um, tie a little bit of your jute around it to hold it how you want it. We're going to be using the jute again. And um, just take and hold it. You want to make sure that you're putting your wings underneath where it's going to hang. So put that to the back like that. Put your glue on the jute area. And go underneath the ribbon and put your wings on. Keeping this nice and high to hang on the tree. 
And that's how it looks so far. So then what you want to do next is you can put the hair on, which is just Christmas tree trim that you would put around the tree. Just cut off maybe five or six inches of that and put some glue on the seam of the ornament on the top of the head. Like that. And then just put your tinsel right on there. If it's too long, you can always cut a little bit off. But long is good. You just don't want to, you don't want to cover up the wings too much by seeing too much hair. But it looks pretty good. Artsy. Then the last thing that you want to do on the, the head area is, uh, you want to put on the little ponytail holder will also become a halo so you want to put some glue on the back of the ponytail holder and then put that right on the back of the ornament as you can see it's going to be let it sit there for a second and it's going to be the halo So the next thing that you do is you, I know it looks like a lot of different colors, but once you put your your choice of what other spray paint that, that you want to do it with, um, it's going to be all your solid colors and your accents on there. So um, the next thing you want to do is you want to add her arms. And what I did was I grabbed a paper grocery sack and I just quickly cut out what the shape so or the amount of length of paper I think I would need for a couple paper arms and just rolled them up like that. That's about right. You can always trim them down after you get them on or if you think they're too long. But it's, they're going to be holding a piece of tin, uh, piece of trim like she's decorating the tree. So they're going to stick out a little ways. So let's see if I've got them about right here. So then what you want to do is you just want to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of them. Find a good spot on the side of her body over here. Stick them right in the ruffle. Looks like they might be a little long, but I'll just trim them up as soon as I get the other one glued on here. I try to do as little measuring as I have to do. And kind of make it so the ruffle looks like it's a sleeve. So it's a long ruffly gown. Okay, let's trim them up just a touch. Now they're going to be painted. I'm going to fold them in a little bit, make it look more like hands. You can see how I did that. And then they're going to be painted all together. And now all we have left to do is to paint it and I will meet you outside for that. Take some of this Rust-Oleum 2X and gloss almond and I'm going to spray paint the entire angel to try to get it a uniform color to start with. Here we go. Make sure you shake up the can really good. You can see the dramatic difference already.
Okay, I'm going to turn her over, get a coat on the back. What usually I'll do is use the, the lid of the spray can and kind of rest it. Kind of rest it on its own pretty good right there. And just uh, get the back of it. You could use whatever color you want to. I just picked out these colors for this one. I'm going to get under, under her ear. Okay. We'll let that set up for a minute. And then while that's setting, setting up, I'll be shaking the can to do a little bit of gold highlights on it. And that's what I stole in this metallic. Um, it's called metallic gold. Pretty simple. Get that mixed up. And I just want to kind of make an accent of the gold on the whole thing. I might do a little bit heavier on the wings and the halo. need a lid. Now when we go inside again, we will use the metallic accents to do the, the face and accent the hair a little bit. We just want to get the general colors that we want out here. And you can see it's looking a lot like the first one I showed you. Okay. We're done outside. I will see you back inside again. <laughs> hey, we're back inside now. And I finished off her face and her arms and her halo. I, uh, I use metallic accents that you can get at the hardware store for $3.99. They come in like 18 different colors, I think. And they last a long time. Great for this type of a project. I used the testers copper for her halo. You can see that. And I gave her her jute trim between her hands. You kind of give her the idea that she's decorating the tree so she's finished this is the back of her i kept the ribbon out of the project so that you could use that to hang her from and she's more of a gold color than the original one which is over here you can see they're two different colors but you can do yours whatever color you desire so i'm glad you looked in have a good day